It all starts on an early spring night in Mobile. A black Buick prowls the street in a mostly African-American neighborhood. In the car are 17-year-old James Tiger Knowles and 26-year-old Henry Hayes. When they spot a young black man, Michael Donald, walking alone, they pull up alongside. I got a call, and my mom said to me that they found a teenager hanging from a tree. What was that moment like when that, without a doubt, your brother had been killed? I just went blank. I couldn't even think anymore. He was 19. He died but just because he's black. My name is Tony Harris, and for more than 30 years as a journalist, I've charted the troubling racial and ethnic divide in our country. The street. Since 1971, the Southern Poverty Law Center, led by civil rights attorney Morris Dees, has faced off against the most powerful forces in hate. Fire! Each of these battles ended in a courtroom drama as electrifying as in any Hollywood thriller. My objective? investigate the pivotal cases that put the Southern Poverty Law Center on the map. Cases that are more relevant than ever today, given the state of race relations in the United States. I said to myself, I would like to bring the United Clan to justice. You're telling this country that you're going after the, the biggest, baddest, most violent hate group in America. I mean, you get butterflies in your stomach. The drama that took place in this building was straight out of the pages of To Kill a Mockingbird. It was the first seminal case that gave us a legal theory that we could go after other hate groups. Now that we had this verdict and we had the idea and the legal precedent, we began over the next 10 or 15 years to decimate all the national hate groups in the United States. When we talk about lone wolves, is someone who decides to commit a terrorist act on their own. Dylan Roof walked into a famous black church in Charleston, and it was no accident. He knew what that church was. This white kid invited into this black church to pray with the people. I will never forget that night. There's been a shooting at the manual AME. Both the chief and I labeled it right then and there, hate crime. He felt like if he struck this blow, it would encourage other people to copycat and be like him and begin to kill black people all over America. That's your modern day lone wolf. The SPLC's legal team sues the area nations and win a $6.3 million judgment. So we bankrupted the area nations, took their money, and basically clean their compound out, destroyed all the buildings. Do you believe in King's concept that love and trust can overcome hate and fear? King was a mentor to me in many ways, but so were people like unsung heroes who never gave up uh, in the struggle for justice. The march for justice continues. Dr. King will say that today. Hate in America, all-new special, premieres Monday, February 29th at 8, only on Investigation Discovery.